Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam, and today's TRT, testosterone replacement therapy question is, does high testosterone cause pimples on my back and on my chest? Hmm. And I guess really the question is just, is testosterone and pimples related? And the answer is yes and no, so it's not a simple uh, answer because there are some variables. So today I'll discuss the primary causes of how testosterone can cause acne, secondary causes of acne, and of course, how to reduce acne and even uh, stop it. Now, testosterone uh, is typically, the problem is that it converts to two other main hormones. One of them is DHT, dihydrotestosterone, which is linked to hair loss and body hair growth and prostate problems, and yes, pimples and acne. And the other hormone that testosterone can convert to is estrogen, uh, which can cause excess body fat, moodiness, gynecomastia, which is also known as man boobs, and also, again, pimples. So testosterone converting to DHT and estrogen is really the bigger problem. And it's not that testosterone is what testosterone converts to. Now, while DHT can cause pimples directly because it binds more strongly than testosterone to the androgen receptors, such as your skin and hair, um, estrogen can cause pimples indirectly by increasing the sensitivity of the androgen receptor. So basically, your body becomes more sensitive to DHT and estrogen because of uh, of higher levels of estrogen. You know, just think of it this way, that DHT can cause um, uh, acne and estrogen can increase it. Additionally, if your hormones suddenly fluctuate up or down, such as during puberty, or when taking testosterone injections or steroids, or even when women are menstruating, right? There's this huge hormonal fluctuations, then your body will dramatically increase sebum production and you'll get oily skin that can cause more acne. And this is why, again, you know, women can get acne every month, again, due to those fluctuations in their hormones due to their menstrual cycles. Or if you have lots of acute stress, right? Maybe not sleeping, problems, and all of a sudden you'll, you know, get an acne because there's just huge hormonal fluctuations uh, because of that stress. Now, in a minute, I'll talk about how you can improve your hormones while still increasing your testosterone and reducing acne at the same time. So it's a two win-win uh, situation. However, please keep in mind that there are other factors that can contribute to excess acne or cause acne. Um, one of them is being clogged pores, obviously, right? If your skin isn't clean, your pores get clogged, bacteria grows, and you'll get pimples. And typically places are your chest, and back and even your face again your phone um your pillow uh, going to the gym uh, you know sweating a lot and and so forth um another factor is diet of course diet affects so many things for many people dairy dairy milk um yogurt um even you know whey protein concentrate can cause acne um any food that causes inflammation okay can cause acne inflammation is really bad for a lot of things again skin and hair um so processed foods eating foods out outside you know seed oils that are high in omega sixes um high glycemic and high sugary foods and so forth can all cause inflammation and thus changing in your hormones such as also fluctuations in high insulin and high cortisol stress levels all of which can cause acne now then there's stress of course stress can negatively affect anything and everything in your body which can again cause an increase in stress hormones um, stress can cause poor sleep and inflammation uh, Genetics, lastly, is always a, always a big factor in your body. And this is if, if you're basically more genetically predisposed to get any acne. For example, when you're going through puberty, right, you got a lot more acne than other people, right? Then you need to put in a lot more effort in improving everything that I mentioned, your diet, managing stress levels, and keeping your skin clean, and thus also optimizing and balancing your hormones. Remember the testosterone, DHT, and estrogen, and also cortisol levels. Okay, so now circling back to testosterone, you can have higher testosterone levels and still reduce getting acne and have all the benefits without some of the negatives. So one simple way is to reduce excess levels of DHT levels, uh, dihydrotestosterone. Now you can take what's called 5-alpha reductase drugs such as finasteride and dudasteride. You've heard of them, Propecia, Proscar, and Avodart. Um, also you can take herbs such as salt palmetto extract can also work. But unfortunately, these solutions, especially the drugs, can really reduce your sex drive in some people. All right, so that's a negative. Um, also, reducing excess estrogen levels. Again, I, I says, as I said, it's a good idea. We have a lot more estrogen in our food and, and um, plastics and environment. Again, this can be done with potent aromatase inhibiting drugs 
You may have heard of them, uh, Remedex, Fumara, and Aromacin. Unfortunately, these will also cause a lot of side effects when it's too low, and lowered libido and sex drive is one major one of lowering estrogen levels too much. Now, however, there are supplements such as DIM and white button mushroom extract, which can help optimize your estrogen levels. So there are natural ways. However, the good news is also there's a potent mineral that not only helps reduce both DHT and estrogen, but can also increase your testosterone levels, and that's zinc. I've mentioned this uh, many times in the past. You should take zinc with copper to uh, prevent any imbalances. About 15 to 30 milligrams of zinc with one to two milligrams of copper daily is a good start that keeps the ratio correct. Now I've done an entire video about this and I'll put a link to that video below in the description area after you watch this. Now the best part about all this is there are other safe and natural ways to help balance out your testosterone, your DHT and estrogen levels and help prevent all these negative side effects while improving all the benefits of testosterone. There are herbs and minerals and some of the best ones and most scientifically researched ones are found in a product that I've been taking for over 20 years. It's an all-in-one pill, it's called Alpha Viral. Now Alpha Viral does contain all the correct herbs, proper dosages, extracts, including both zinc and copper. That's why I love it. it's just all in one. And I'll put the direct link to Alpha Viral below in the description area, including discount coupons. Now, to summarize things again, testosterone directly typically does not cause acne. What testosterone converts to, DHT and estrogen, are most likely the real cause of acne. Um, hormonal fluctuations make things worse, so you need to make sure that your diet and stress levels are basically managed properly. And if you're genetically prone to getting acne, then you really need to focus on all the solutions I've mentioned today. And if you want eh, to increase your testosterone levels, take alpha viral to speed up the results while also minimizing the uh, negatives of getting acne and so forth. So there you have it. Let me know your questions about acne, anything in detail you want me to get into. Make sure you visit the links below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I wish you a very happy 